one up, get one up trickle out of the way. Hello everybody, my name is Renzer and I'd like to talk to you about some today. It has been many months since I last spoke out about Planetside, and I think I needed this time to properly collect my thoughts so I could present them to you in a more detailed, crisp, and scripted manner. I decided to devote some time in order to pinpoint what exactly killed off my passion for this game because I was sure that burnout wasn't the only factor. I think I can finally grasp this issue with enough clarity to be able to explain this to a wider audience without making it seem like another rant. So here we go. If you follow me then you know that I have always been passionate about becoming better in everything I do. This is why this channel has been mainly about tutorials and tips. Of course I have always applied this mentality to Planetside too, and this is where the problem starts. So there are two ways to be quote unquote good in this game. The top level of the community, and due to the fact that there is no endgame present that could establish itself as the overall accepted goal for this game, fell back on numbers as a way to set hierarchy. Factors such as KD, average score per, per minute or hour, or percentage of this or that were chosen as a basis of knowing whether a player is good or bad. The footage you are seeing right now is one of the ways you have to play in order to be respected more passive, usually defending, and careful not to risk your life. On the other side of the spectrum we have the game itself, which tries to convince its player base that their goal should be holding points and taking territory. If one decides to go with that idea, and actually fight for bases no matter the cost, very often KD and other, let's say, respected numbers fall due to this activity, and at the end of the struggle, the player gets nothing in return, because sadly, territory hasn't had any value for a few years now. So to sum up, you either go for what the top sees as good and you don't play the objective or you go for the objective, get nothing in return and become seen as an inferior player. This is what creates the frustration for me, because like most people I like to be seen as a good player, but I like to play the objective as well. Another paradox which hits me hard is the fact that in a game which lore states that life and death have absolutely no value, the only thing we can fall back on as reference is the difference between those kills and deaths. Count kills all you want, but why do it with deaths in a game which requires group sacrifice to win? I have seen people not accept revives during an important fight because it hurts their KD. You think it's impossible to have a high skill game? A high skill FPS game without KD? You go check out squad, come back to me and tell me that again. One could try to argue and say that it is the player base that chose kills as important, but if you take a look at the directives, it's kill this, kill that, kill with something 99% of the time. This game is nothing more than an arena deathmatch, and yes, I say arena because if you think about it, vehicles mostly don't matter, because the territory in between bases has no value as well. There is no reason to push to a new base when you can most of the time gal drop somewhere. PS3 right now is a TDM with no end goal and a graphical chat with hills and trees between the maps. We have seen countless tries by the community to present ideas of vehicle capture points in between bases that would serve as a natural progression to the next fight. Yet nothing as always, but hey, here's your next shotgun SMG, developers signing off. But you know, we will come back to this in a later time. Coming back to the topic of the community in this game, it is no surprise that the players themselves have been trying to create a sense of meaning. We have seen this in PSBL, all the smashes and competitive games, yet if you choose to take part in this, a long and bumpy road is ahead of you. Setting anything up lasts longer than the longest competitive match in any game because all we have to work with is some backwater server with terrible ping if you're not from the United States. And if that wasn't enough, you have to friggin ask and preserve counts to even be practicing there. I have not experienced something this bad in online gaming ever in my life. We are getting absolutely zero support when it comes to competitiveness, 
So now that we know what bothers me, I'll try to explain to you why things are the way they are. Planetside 2 has never been a golden game. It has struggled greatly to even break even at times. This is why the development of the game has always been set to easy profit and actual development was left half-assed. Player numbers were never in our favor, so to cater to a wider scope of people, the great process of dumbing down the game has begun. No vehicle timer, so people aren't frustrated. No territory value, so people don't have to think. Redeploy and no need for logistics, so people don't have to organize. I just want to play the game, click a few buttons and get to the fight. That's what they are going for. People who are looking for a meaning are at the tip of the iceberg. Most of the players don't give a fuck, lols. So, why will this game stay casual aside? Because of two reasons. Money, or actually lack thereof, and H1Z1. Oh yes, you heard me right. H1Z1. And here's why. The moment our favorite company realized that King of the Kill is the popular game, they shifted all their key assets, leaving us in life support mode. And now with Battlegrounds out, they need to push even harder to keep H1Z1 at the top of sales and Twitch streams. PS2 is just there. Maybe it will make a buck or two if we tweak it from time to time. But King of the Kill is our moneymaker. It is the popular game, and we have to do everything in our power to keep it that way. This is the company policy. And you know what? I can't blame them and understand their reasons for doing so. So that's the end of the scripted part of the vid, and I'm sorry if I sound pessimistic, but that's how it goes. Now many people tell me, well, they played this game for fun, and to have fun with friends, and that's true, but at the end of the day, which game can't be fun without friends? The true game is good when you can play it with anybody, not just with people you like spending time with. Because ask yourself this, are you enjoying the game? Or are you enjoying the people? Anyway, I hope you liked this video, even though it's a sad one, and be sure to tell me what you think. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope to see you both on stream and in game. Rens are out. And I still love Planet Side 2. I'm just... Let's say... More reasonable about it now. See you guys later.